And look what I found here. Oh, man, those are gorgeous. I must have disturbed a hornet's nest because I got stung like three times. Welcome to Utah Mushroom Hunter. I'm Blaine Washburn and today we're uh, up in the Wasatch Mountains. We're looking, we're lower elevation. We're probably close to 6,000 feet in elevation. We're looking for uh, whatever mushrooms we can find. Um, the uh, higher elevation mushrooms, our uh, season is pretty much over. I'm not, uh, as you saw in my previous video, um, uh, we just didn't do very well up there uh, last time. They were all disappearing. We did find a Bletocellus. We found a few other varieties, uh, some agarics. But um, I think I'm pretty much done with the high elevation for this year. So I'm, I've just dropped in elevation a little bit. And, uh, and today I'm hoping to find some uh, Pluterus mushrooms. Pluterus pulmonarius or whatever varieties I can find. Uh, that, those are oysters. Uh, this is a, a, uh, uh, a time of year that the oysters like to fruit. Uh, they love the springs and they love the falls. And you can find them just about any time of the year. But uh, but they really like the, the transition, the weather transitions, and we haven't had a ton of rain recently, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find any or not, but, but we're going to search for them and see what we can find. At this elevation, we're probably not going to find any bleats, maybe some swillus, um, uh, and probably some am amanita too, I'm thinking, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, let's get looking. Look how beautiful this trail is. Just absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful river, beautiful pine trees. This place is gorgeous. Wow, look at that hornet's nest. That thing is a beast. That's about the size of a volleyball. That is huge. Well, here's something. Let's see what this is. Boy, you know what? I think that is an Amanita. Got a little bit of scabbing across the top. But it's so old it's hard to tell. Yeah. Usually those gills are white, white. I think it's just an old one. You can see that coloration there. Definitely not one you want to eat. You can see it has been completely eaten out by worms. Well, here's a mushroomy spot. You can see a mushroom right over there. You've got a few different varieties right here. You can see that there's some coral mushrooms right here. This is a Romaria. Again, you want to be careful with these because a lot of them can upset your tummy, but there are some that are edible and that people absolutely love. This here, I don't know what this is going to be. Definitely not one you want to eat though. Those little smaller mushrooms, flat top with the gills, just leave alone. Uh, but you got some of these down here. See, this is another coral. And see, I just barely got that coral. And there's these little teeny mushrooms in here, too. Pretty. Almost looks like a velvet fit, but it doesn't have the velvet fit. But the top looks like it, the flamiola. But I don't think that is a flamiola. But it has that kind of look to it. You can see there's some growing up here too. Cute little mushrooms. Leave those alone. You don't want to eat any of those. This one right up here. This looks like it's a, a Swillis lacay. Let's see if that's what that is. Yep, it is. Oh, there's two of them together. So you got that honeycomb underside. And that, uh, that's what the lacay looks like. Swillis uh, lacay. That is an edible mushroom. And I don't save these. I'll put that right back where it was. But anyway, uh, nice little mushroomy spot here. Well, I'm along this river here. See how gorgeous that is, and I found my first oysters of the day. Look at those right there. 
happy to find them because I've been hunting quite a bit and the only thing I found was one little Amanita and a Suillus. Happy to find those. Well, here's what I ended up getting off this tree right here. It looks great. It's a little bit mature, but that sh should still be really yummy. The smaller ones would cer should certainly be yummy. Definitely an oyster mushroom. This is the trail that I'm on. It is just so gorgeous. All these fall colors, all the leaves all over the place. So pretty out here. So here's the river. I was on that side of the river and I looked across up on this log and I looked like there were some mushrooms right there. And uh, it's hard to tell with all those leaves on it. But I thought I'd cross the river and explore. And look what I found here. Oh, man, those are gorgeous. I'm finding these perfect too. Those are gonna be so yummy. These are oysters. And this is a darker variety. I'll have to see if I can look up the name for this specific uh, species, but definitely a different species than what I just found. But still an oyster and still a choice, choice edible. That is gonna be delicious. Well, there you are. This is how they look. You can see that. You can see the uh, back of it here and how those uh, gills run down the stem that way. That's the way the oysters look. This one is going to be so yummy. Just a beautiful set of oysters. All right, you'll never believe this. Just after harvesting those oyster mushrooms, I was looking at the log because quite often when you can find one oyster on it, you can find more oysters on that log. And uh, so I started searching up that log and I must have disturbed a hornet's nest because I got stung like three times. Uh, just to kind of show you what I, happened to me. Let me see if I can turn this around. Luckily I'm not allergic to it. But one stung me right there, and this is all numb right now. Strung me right through my sock. Scraped myself up pretty good trying to run from them. Because they were jumping on me like crazy. I had like six of them on me at, the, at once. So I was like getting out of there, and I scraped up my elbow too. You can see a wasp sting here that later caused my elbow to swell up. So be careful out there. Luckily I had my hat and I was had it to whap him with. <laughs> but I was able to uh, get him off me and and I think only I ended up with three stings on me. Anyway, uh, uh, you always gotta be prepared when you're out hunting for mushrooms, so be safe out there. Man, this trail is just so gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous up here with all the fall colors and all the leaves falling. Well, I am just having quite the day. Um, I just slipped on a rock crossing the river, and now look at this. I'm like all wet. Clear up my side, clear up to my armpit. I'm wet on this side. I slipped pretty hard on the rock. Anyway, uh, I think I'm getting close to being done. I got still got to walk back. I'm about, I don't know, two and a half miles up this canyon. I think, uh, I think I'm... We've got to be close to the end of this thing, but I don't know. Anyway, it's been so fun today. I'll keep looking for a little longer. Look how gorgeous this is. We got mixed pines and deciduous trees. Gorgeous trail. Look at those fall colors. Beautiful river. This place is just so pretty. Man, look at that. Look how, uh, how pretty this trail is. Just gorgeous. Just can't get over. 
the colors and how beautiful it is out here. Hey, so as I'm walking down the trail, I ran into the Viejo family. And here they are. They, these are some of the kids, and, and they're super interested in the mushrooms. So I showed them a little bit. You guys want to show the mushrooms that I found, that we found today? Look at those. Aren't those fun? Those are all oyster mushrooms, uh, pluterous variety. And they are going to be super, super yummy. But anyway, um, what do you guys think of the mushrooms? Do they look interesting? Yeah. yeah. All right. So do you guys think you want to learn how to find mushrooms one day? Okay, you gotta yeah. be careful, all right? Uh, these ones are, are really yummy ones to eat, but don't ever, ever eat a mushroom unless you know for sure what it is, okay? Okay. All right, well, thanks for jumping in my video. Well, it's starting to get dark on me, and uh, so I'm calling it a day. Uh, I've already walked most of the way back, but I'm hardly even looking for mushrooms anymore. I'm trying to get back to my car. Had a lot of fun today, though. Uh, fell in the water. Got stung by wasps, found some awesome oyster mushrooms, and uh, absolutely enjoyed this canyon. So, recommend you get out and hike a canyon. Look for some mushrooms. It is a gorgeous time of the year. Again, you're most likely to find oysters this time of year. Other kinds too, but oysters are a popular one. That's what I'm targeting right now. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.